Hello everyone, today with Market XLS, we're going to talk about a very popular options trading strategy known as the Reverse Iron Condor. Market XLS is one of the top Excel-based investment research solutions for investors. In this video, we'll be discussing what a Reverse Iron Condor is, how it works, when to use this strategy, and how Market XLS can help you in implementing this strategy in a seamless manner. So without any further ado, let's start with the topic. A reverse iron condor is a strategy with limited maximum profit and limited maximum loss potential. It profits when the underlying stock breaks out to upside or downside. To set up a reverse iron condor, the option trader buys a lower strike out of the money put and sells an even lower strike out of the money put they buy a higher strike out of the money call and sell another even higher strike out of the money call. A net debit is taken to enter this trade. This strategy earns maximum profits at expiration if the underlying stock price expires above the upper breakeven point or below the lower breakeven point. Market XLS offers a template for this strategy. Here's an introduction page and here's an active template. The yellow cells have to be inputted by the user. So the stock ticker, expiry date, and the strike prices for the strategy. Some upcoming expiry dates are available for reference on the right. And for the purpose of this video, we'll be using Microsoft expiry date as 11 June. We'll be buying out of the money call at 260 strike and an out of the money put at 250 strike. And now in order to hedge our position, we'll be selling a FAR put option and a FAR call option. Market Excellence has many templates, just like the reverse iron condor one you see here. And it refreshes all the data when you click on refresh all. A net payoff table and a net payoff diagram are also available to help the user observe the potential profit or loss at different expiry levels. Maximum gain for the reverse iron condor strategy is limited but significantly higher than the maximum possible loss. It is attained when the underlying stock price drops below the strike price of the short put or it rises above or equal to the higher strike price of the short call. In either situation, maximum profit is equal to the difference in strike between the calls or puts minus the net debit taken while initiating the trade. That is all for today. If you want to read more about this topic, please visit the Market Excellence website, which has hundreds of blogs and templates. If you want to get in contact with us, please book a demo and we'll be happy to help.